Hello everybody, it's me again, and today, um, uh, I'm just gonna make a tutorial on how to install PBA 2K19. This game right here. Don't mind the icon, I changed it for, because of preference reasons. Um, yeah, so, before we do anything, um, here. First you need to install an app called CPUZ. Look. Go to Google Play Store. Wait. And then search CPUZ. Okay, this might take a while, so... Okay, the very first um, result is the app you are looking for. This. This is CPUZ. Because via this app, we will learn what my phone's um, GPU renderer is. And what's a GPU renderer? And, yeah. Why do you need to know what the, G what the GPU is? I'll, exp I'll show you in a little bit. But for now, let's go to CPUZ on my phone. As you can see, my GPU render is a ma is a Mali. It could, or your GPU render could vary vary from phone to phone. It could be either Mali or Adreno. That's the most common like GPU render for most Android phones. So now, let's go to and now let's go to system to our settings, like, and then go to system. And then about phone, and here we will learn what our phone's Android version is. My phone runs on Android 9 or Android Pi, that's why I have the Pi version of PB2K19. Okay, so now let's go to Facebook and search PB2K19. PBA to get Android. Sorry. Um, and go to this page, and there is a and there is a pin post here, wherein here you will see all the links to the to PBA two K nineteen. Usually, um, these OBB files also contain um, an ATC texture file. Like, there will also be a link to that, usually, because for whatever reason, an Adreno user without an AT, an Adreno phone, GPU, an Adreno, a phone that runs on with an Adreno GPU will, will have literally no sort of graphics on the screen, it will just be all black. So you also usually have to get an ATC file, but it says here, but it says here, this is already good for, um, is already, um, good for both Mali and Adreno. So, how do we, how do you do this? First, download this file here. Yeah. We need to first download this. And then, but that was a zip file, by the way. It already comes with an APK, but literally, if you have a, if you have even a monkey with half a half a brain, with a half a half a brain, could figure out that, could read this, all of this. Like, it says here. The OBB, the OBB already comes with an APK file, but don't install that APK. Instead, install this APK that already fixes a bug that was featured in the previous version of this game, which was the Commissioner's Cup version. This is as up to date as we can get, plus the PBA season, like the NBA, basically most, almost every sprint event, for except for whatever reason, WrestleMania, is canceled due to obviously coronavirus. Yeah, you need to install this APK instead of the APK that already comes with this zip file. <clears throat> but then again, 
what happens if your phone um is a pi is a pi it runs on android pi because obviously this is only for android phones that run on android oreo and below well um you basically have to all you have to do is basically extract the contents of your um extract the con all all of the contents of the ob of the obb file and then insert it into the apk how do you do that well first you need to rename add an obb extension to your apk file and then and then you can go to your obb file you don't have to rename it to that zip Re add an extension that zip you can literally just directly extract it there because archiver apps can recognize that it's still an archive okay so what the what app do you use to extract the zip files i recommend the archiver pro the archiver um it's a free app on the play store it also has a pro version which literally only has a yellow logo the difference i really don't know actually they feel pretty much the same to me the archiver is free the archiver pro Pro, obviously not free, but on the App Store, it's known as the Archiver Donate for whatever reason. Okay, then. You can also use other archiving apps. You can even use your phone, um, your phone, your file, your file app, your screen profile app, but can, um, archive extract it. Except it's not really as powerful as archiver apps like these. So, I recommend you use the archiver pro but then again you can use other archiver apps such as raw and you know plus you can like search on google play store you know look search the archiver and then what appears multiple archiver apps and for whatever reason this also appears pps as pp <laughs> Okay, you have like so many options like seven zipper, um raw like the one I just showed you. This is the exact same one. And there's explore file manager. I feel like this is the most powerful archiver app out of all of these. I don't know. I've only had a little bit of experience of using that. File manager. Oh, for Google Drive. Oh, okay then. Yeah, assisted, assisted touch. Dang. Um, so yeah. Of course, here on YouTube, like, let me just show you. There's a YouTube channel called NickFreeNet.ph. It's basically like a uh, general information channel. Free. Okay, free Nick. Yeah, NickFreeNet.ph. Sorry, there's no dot. Okay, then. so yeah, and here's a video wherein wherein he showcases a Pi compatible version of PDA 2K19. So if you don't know how to actually insert the most of the contents of the OBD file onto your phone, onto your phone, this work. This is where you can find the original links of you know. Uh, the original links of the Pi compatible versions of the game. Of, well, the Adrenal version, the Mali version are separate. So, if your phone is running on Mali CPU, you go to these links right here. But if your phone is running on Adrenal, you use these links right here. Okay then. And he also has a link for the lower low end version but then again if your phone is really low end as in very very low end you can always try out the searching base by the way pba 2k19 is just nba 2k14 for android modded to basically overhaul like everything like the logos are different like the jerseys are different the entire way the arenas work different the arena id system works different entirely so yeah Anywho, that's it, basically. That's all I can show you. But before I leave you, let me show you some gameplay for those who really want to get a little bit of taste of the action.
My phone just dropped far, just really not much. There's not really much in front of us.